just small town dudes with small town news breaking stories of crimes committed you never do mind your p's and q's or they'll cover you the town may be small but the news is huge all right this is interesting it made me think of all kinds of fun interesting things that you know happen uh, not too far from here as well this one's out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Have you ever been up there? Nope. Can't say as I have. It is just below North Dakota. Really? You know how I know that? No. Because it says there. South Dakota. Oh. So it's south, south of North, of North Dakota. Dakota. You know? There's two of them. Two Dakotas. Yep. No East Dakota, no West Dakota. Is there another? We have two. Is there any more you states that have more than one? You got North and South Carolina. Yeah. Right? You got North and South Dakota. Yeah. You got Virginia, West Virginia. Is that, is that the question? I, that's, that was the question. Yeah. There's a lot of them. Mexico, New Mexico. Mexico's not us. Correct. <clears throat> I'm trying to think. Alan, is there any that I'm forgetting that you know of? I, I bet Isaiah knows. Isaiah knows all kinds of random stuff. He says that's it. Oh, that's all. you nailed it. I believe him. him. Uh, there's New York City and New York. New York. That's confusing. Yeah. Uh, but this this story happens in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I've been up there. It's uh, it's nice. It's peaceful. It's tranquil. Um, but I'm gonna read you the headline. Sioux Falls, South Dakota, mourns the brief life of an urban cornstalk. Yep, I saw the headline. I go, well, let's we gotta dig into this. I'll read you a little bit, and then we'll watch this video. Okay. The lone stalk was growing up through a crack in the concrete before someone ripped it out of the street. So basically, a corn stalk just started growing in the middle of a street, and people were, like, enjoying it. Uh, kind of like what we got in Hendersonville of the cone weed. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up episode... I forgot what it was. We We did an episode... On the coneweed one time, a long time ago. Maybe this is before I moved here. I was going to say, I don't think it was with... Uh, if you go all the way back, me. if we're all in the same channel, Fry, it was a fried yeah, episode. Yeah, fried one. Yeah. The it's audio weed. I don't only. know anything about the coneweed. Yeah. I've never heard Oh, of you don't know anything about the coneweed? No. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you knew about this. No, no, no. So in Hendersonville... Okay, let me tell you this first, and we'll read <clears> this story. In Hendersonville, North Carolina, they were doing some construction on a small road. And when they were done, I think this is the story, they left one of the traffic cones just off to the side of the road. And it stayed there for a long time. So long that weeds started growing through the cone. And up out of the cone come like this little cone weed. Ah. And people are like, oh, look at that. Huh, that's funny. They never picked up the cone. It's been there that long. And then they started decorating it for Christmas. So every Christmas, people will go to the coneweed and put ornaments on it and leave gifts. Gifts. And it turned into a thing. Um, Until some someone, a-hole. Yeah, it's always that one person that... Uh, but the, the spirit of the coneweed lives on. Because since then, people have created Facebook pages and Twitter accounts, and they've started replicating the coneweed. So there yeah. are people who will put cones around their trees... In honor of the coneweed. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. Keep it um, going. So that, this story reminded me of that. Um, residents of South Dakota's largest city are mourning an urban corn stalk that briefly became a lighthearted beacon of hope during the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, it was reported Wednesday that the stalk had been growing up through a crack in the concrete at the intersection of 57th Street and Minnesota Avenue on Sioux Falls South Side. Dubbed the 57th Street Corn, complete with its own Twitter account during its brief lifespan, the plant was a symbol of resiliency and hope as the pandemic rages on, said the mayor. Finding joy in the small things will continue to help us get through what has been a challenging time in our country. It was amazing to see the community rally around the 57th Street corn as a sign of hope over the past few days. Residents reported Wednesday morning that someone had ripped out the lone stalk. 
prompting an outcry on social media. Someone attached a sign to a traffic post where the stalk grew that read, Corn R.I.P. Yeah. The Stockyards Ag Experience, a group working to transform, transform the city's vacant stockyards into an interactive experience, is selling T-shirts commemorating the stock. This is hilarious and enraging to me. Um, I'm mad that whoever it was that ripped out, probably Antifa. Might right. have been them. Might have been them. <laughs> Somebody's like, no happiness allowed. But I wonder how a uh, how a corn, like where was so it's a corn seed. How does how does corn grow now? Like how did that grow right there? Like somebody eating an ear of corn, they chucked it out the window going down the road. And well, it, there is corn. I mean, South Dakota has you know it's one of them corn states. Like yeah. a bird um, probably dropped it. it. Yeah, there's many ways this could have happened. You know what? I, my theory is that. Uh, during the pandemic, when there's less people on the road, less people moving around, nature has sort of taken over a little bit. So mm-hmm. I see more birds than I've ever seen. I see more random nature, grass, weeds growing everywhere. So this doesn't surprise me. But I think it's funny and cool how people start getting into dumb stuff like this. Like, I like that. Yeah. Um, and, it, and I'm mad at whoever ripped it out. I would have loved to have seen this corn stalk. Grow all the way up, like you know, like Jack was it uh, the beanstalk? Jack and the beanstalk. Yeah, man, maybe it could have gotten like really, really high, and you could have climbed up it and had some magic beans. No, that's a beanstalk. You don't think it would have died anyway? <laughs> <laughs> that's just me being negative. You were negative, negative, negative Mark. Ne- negative. Of Nancy. course, it's going to die at some point. But uh, everything dies. So hey, Mark, everything dies eventually. Just so you know. I know, and I think this would have too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the over fumes, time, yes, yes, yeah, so the fumes from the cars probably would have. But I mean, ha- imagine had someone not ripped it out. How long would it have gotten? And well, we'll never know. We will never know because, because some douchebag probably would have died anyway. Yeah, um, you know, it's kind of like Field of Dreams. Build it, and they, and they will come. come. This is like, don't drive around so much, and we will grow. And I think that's what <laughs> happened. You know. I would yeah. have liked to have seen gotten so big that, you know, like uh, Malachi from Children of the Corn, just like you see a bunch of redheaded kids just hanging out around it. Yeah. They come out there doing like seances. Do you think they took the corn stalk with them when they pulled it out of the ground? I think if you're going to take, I th- yeah. And then put it in a book. Remember how you used to put roses in a book? <laughs> 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 right? If you want to watch the whole version, the entire episode, click on this little square right here. Or if you just want to subscribe and watch them later, Click on that little bubble right there. And thank you.